Hey guys, how are you? So many mobile app entrepreneurs, they ask me, what is ASO, how to do ASO, and by the way, I'm like the ASO expert. Let me tell you all about it and then why I'm an expert. Uh, first of all, what's ASO, right? So we're gonna go from some beginner issues to some really deep, complex issues later in the video, right? So like, I know this topic well. So first of all, ASO is App Store Search Optimization. It's very parallel to SEO that most people on the web kind of know now, right? So SEO, how to get traffic from Google search. ASO, how to get traffic from mobile app stores search, meaning search from you know the Apple App Store, Google Play, maybe the Kindle App Store, like whatever, right? Whatever the app store where your apps are. You want to be found there, right? You want to be found by customers so that they download your app. This is the concept, right? Okay, now let's get into some concepts. So why am I the guy? Why am I the guy to tell you this? Well, my apps are business apps. And, you know, in business, the main search term is the word business. Duh. And my apps were ranking for that. Uh, for about a year, I was number one. I think today I'm not number two, right? So that, on Android. Um, on iOS, I didn't do that because I had a different uh, strategy a little bit. I was selling my apps a lot, largely from this YouTube channel, so I wasn't doing a lot of ASO. But when I was doing ASO, I rocked it. And I'll teach you how to do it. I'll teach you how to do it. And just to give you some numbers, um, I have something like over 500,000 Android downloads across um, mostly one of the apps. But I have like four, my apps come as a four app business course, but most of the downloads come in one app. And I, there's far, there's well over 500,000 downloads and all of them. I spend no money um, doing this and um, they mostly came from search. They're probably 95% plus came from search and I've got I've gotten my apps featured, I've gotten uh, a lot of publicity. Still, over 95% of the downloads came from search and in this video I'll tell you how to, how to rock your ASO. So not just ASO, how to rock your ASO, okay? So first things first, just like any other search engine, engagement with whatever the product is, right? Um, is key. If it's search engine on YouTube, YouTube cares about how engagement, right? How long people are watching. Um, if it's another thing, people, they want, they, if it's even Amazon, they care about engagement and they have some metrics for this. So just like any other search engine, um, app stores want engagement and they track the, you know, obviously the reviews, the frequency of reviews, the quality of reviews. Um, are people, you know, when they're downloading your app, are they deleting your app or are they keeping your app? How long are they keeping your app? Are they opening the app every day? Um, how many times are they opening the app every day? And how long are the session lengths? Now, this doesn't have to be some absolute number. It just has to be better than what your competitors have within your niche. The ones you're competing with in search, right? The ones who are above you. You want to be better than them so that you jump over. So these are these signals, right? You can manipulate some of them. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to recommend that you do this, but, you know, on the web getting uh, fake reviews or, you know, maybe sponsored reviews or whatever, very common, it's easy to do. I'm not going to suggest that you do this, but a lot of people do this. Um, don't, don't overdo this. Whatever you do, don't overdo this. It's, it's not that cool. There's better ways. Um, one engagement signal that's really core is downloads and I really want to stress quality downloads because bad downloads, downloads like maybe you incentivized, maybe you paid people, maybe they don't care, maybe you just spammed somewhere and you got a lot of downloads, those guys, they're just going to get your app and get rid of it, right? They're, oh, I'm, I'm not into this. So they get rid of the app. What does that do? That's bad for some of your metrics, For the, that's bad for some of the engagement metrics, right? So. Uh, Really what has to happen is you have to get good downloads, a lot of them. I'll tell you how in a little bit. Um, by good downloads, I mean people who actually care about the kind of app you have who are actually going to use it. And what happens then is you have more downloads, that's more engagement, and those people will engage better. This is all like really healthy. One secret weapon that is easy and simple to do, but few app developers get it right. A lot of big companies get it right and it helps them beat out the small developers. But small developers, if, you, if, you're, an independent, if you're an independent developer, here's what you gotta do. Okay. 
your app store listing is incredibly important. I've had case studies with my own apps where just changing one app icon from a not so good one to a nice one, nicer one increased the downloads by 15%. And that makes sense because what is the first thing people see? It's your icon, right? It's got to have bright colors, it's got to have like very inviting, it shouldn't be too busy, like it shouldn't have too much detail, but it should be beautiful and bright and inviting and noticeable from the other apps. It should stand out. This is so important. Stand out. Um, and mine began to stand out more and more. I got more downloads. And guess what? When I got more downloads, this is free downloads, right? These are downloads I wasn't getting with a bad icon. When I got those more downloads, guess what? My, th those engagement metrics went up for me, right? On the downloads. So guess what? I started ranking better, right? This, so this was one of the very key things on my journey to rank number one for the word business, right? And this will be part of this. This should be sort of a along the way part of the journey for you. Now I've skipped a few things that are basic because I, I kind of didn't want to cover basic things because you can get basic things anywhere. Um, but I should talk about you know obviously there is the concept of choosing the right keywords that you want to rank for creating your title, creating your description. Luckily, I have videos on all these things that I'm gonna really, I'm just actually, in the description of this video, I'm going to link to all those individual videos where you can get tutorials on those things if, you, if that's content that you need. If those tutorials are something that you need, I'm gonna to link to those in the description of this video so that you're not lost. But in this video, I'm covering slightly more like advanced topics that few, fewer people talk about, right? Um, and, I, and by now, I myself, I'm tired of people telling me like, Title, description, keywords research, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows that, all right? If you don't know, you're a beginner, it's totally okay. Just go check, uh, show more in the, in the video, and there will be links to those videos, so, so you're not going to miss anything. But anyway, back to more advanced stuff, right? So, so okay. You've got, okay, we covered the icon, right? In your description, you should have things that make you authoritative. What makes you authoritative? Put down the number of downloads, like right, like 100,000 people already used and love this app. And then you wanna write things, you wanna add things like your link, a link to your privacy policy, a link to your return, not return, but uh, maybe, um, yeah, the privacy policy. Um, definitely you wanna give a support email in case somebody wants to, you know, need some kind of a tech support. And by the way, it's very important to have that because if people want to go, if they're having problems and they want to give your app a bad review, guess where they're going to go to give your app a bad review? On the App Store listing, right? So it's better that they find the, the support email and they don't get to the, part, to the point where they're giving you a bad review, right? So having a support email actually prevents some of the bad reviews. Very important, right? Because remember, having good reviews is a, is a big thing, right? Actually, so part of um, this kind of a social proof for your app, it's not just the download numbers, it's the, the kind of reviews you get, right? So reviews are monumentally important. Um, in fact, they may be too important because your users have too much say. Because in the app world, a lot of the users are like 12 years old. And they have a lot of say about the success of your app. It's strange. It's really not cool. Because you work so hard, you spend a lot of money, and here's some 12-year-olds like, oh, one star kills your downloads, right? Other people see it, they don't know that this guy was 12 years old. So there's that nuance, right? So um, in my humble opinion, uh, users have a little, a, a little bit, a lot, too much say in the future of your app. Uh, that's my opinion. But it, I can't change anything. I can't tell the app stores what to do. We have to live with that. Okay. Um, so you've got to have the social proof and have good reviews. Now I have another whole video about how to get good reviews and how to avoid bad reviews. I'm going to link to that in the description of this video as well. These are all like super important topics because they all play together if you want to get your app to rank, right? It's not like your app is going to rank in a vacuum. All these little nuances, all these little things have to work well together. Um, it's not rocket science, but it's not too simple either. Right? Because you have to be somewhat surgical in how you do things. And so I'll link to everything so that you, you have the whole story. Because if I made one video about all this, it would be way too long. Like way too long and you would complain 
that the video is way too long. So instead, you should complain that I don't cover those things, and then I'll, you know, I'll say you can't complain about that because the links to those to those things are in the description. Whew. Okay, so social proof, right? We got the reviews. We got, um, you know, mentioned that you know a lot of people love the app. So many downloads, like in my Android um, app. The first thing I did when I crossed 100,000 downloads was like 100,000 downloads. I wrote that as the first thing. Um, in the description, I wrote, this is the best, it was a business planning app, so I wrote, this is the best business pla planning app on Android with 100,000 downloads and 25,000 business plans. No other app can compete with that on Android, right? So right away, users were like, okay, no other app has that even close. So you want to do stuff like that. Um, it will. It, this, this is just a free way to get more downloads because for every, like, hundred people who come to the landing page of your app, only certain percentage download the app. Not everyone who comes to the landing page of your app presses the download button. And what your landing page must do, and this is the simplest, freest, cheapest, easiest, just optimize the, the life out of your landing page, right? Because a lot of people skip to advanced things like Oh, should I pay for mobile ad ads? Should I do this? Should I do Facebook marketing? No. Your app store listing should be so rock star that it like gets you, it convinces a, such an incredibly higher amount of people who come to the landing page that the signal for that that's sent to the app store it propels you not maybe if not near to the total top to close to the top, right? And I'm really strict about this because it's so easy to skip because there's no, you know, we're wrestling with perfection here, right? We don't know when should we, when we should be done with the mobile app listing, right? Like the landing page. It's like it's always pretty good. It's hard to make it better, right? There's no um, yes or no. It's a little bit of an art, right? And that's why it's easy to kind of say, okay, we're in a good enough spot. Okay, we'll be done. But focus, 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 focus on it. And I'm saying that, and by the way, I have so much to improve on mine. You know, um, so I know I'm, I'm giving this advice, but I, I still myself can improve. Okay, so we're always improving. Okay, now, okay, probably at this point you got it. Okay, app store listing super important. Next, I I know that most mobile app entrepreneurs hate to spend money on advertising. Uh, I do too. I'll tell you a nice way, okay? A cheap way. It's YouTube. Because if you pay for, you know, uh, Facebook ads or Google AdWords ads or mobile app ads, you know, ads that are appear on mobile app, other apps that, you know, will promote your website, your app, okay? Those are all expensive. You're gonna average like if you're lucky one, two, three dollars per download, and your app will never make one or two or three down dollars per download in return, right? Um, on YouTube, it's a different story. You can get like one penny or two penny views, yeah, right. So for one dollar, you can get a hundred views, maybe fifty views, right? And what you've got to do. Is create a great video about your app. Show the app a little bit. Show some screenshots. Explain why it's so great. Make it quick and short so people don't quit it, right? The video. So people who don't like quit the video, I mean. Right? And then just market it to your target audience. You know, if you get a few downloads per every hundred views, that's a hugely better um, download rate than Facebook marketing anything, you know, uh, Google AdWords marketing, anything, like any, any of the paid strategies, this is a good thing. The main thing you have to do is you, ha you do have to create a good, well-converting um, video, okay? If you do that, your paid advertising will be pretty inexpensive, relatively speaking, to, what el to whatever else is possible. So this is one of the great ways. You, you should also be able to get publicity. I'm not going to talk about publicity in this video, but guess what? A link to my publicity video in the description of this video. In the description of this video, I'm beginning to get repetitive. So, 
this is a good sign for me to kind of end things here. I don't want the video to get too long and I have way too many extra resources for you to go to next. So check the description of the video and by the way, um, I do have a full book. Uh, I actually, my book is the best book. Uh, I think it's the first on Amazon for um, how to create a business out of your mobile app. On Amazon, this is the number one book for this topic. Um, and I have an accompanying course. So you can either read the book or you can take a course. The course is video based. Um, they're, all, they're both very affordably priced, um, give you a ton of amazing information. And like pretty much, I explain exactly how I made my business into what it is. And I got no help, I did it by myself. I spend no money advertising, things like this, right? Or, or minimal, right? You know, so, um, and I really explain how you can do this in your, with your app. And by the way, I've also coached like a hundred mobile app entrepreneurs and I know exactly what kind of issues they run into and that kind of stuff is covered in the book and in the course. So I'll have the link to the book, to the course, to my other videos. And um, so check the description of the video and I'll see you in my next video. And by the way, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Subscribe, keep in touch. I like that kind of stuff. So, you know, you kind of got to know me a little bit. I want to get to know you. Um, so engage, you know, uh, leave a comment. If you like the video, press thumbs up. Um, and, you know, say hello, whatever. And subscribe.